out in your and bum. the Peter Andre days were fun did she tell you oh my god and I just went oh yeah <laughs> it's the cabin crew show a hint of uh, panic. anxiety panic Yeah. This guy is like oh, gold, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. yeah, and you guys have been together, what, since you were 17? You met, were you 17? 15, 15, 15, my first you met your from him um, was this husband. Pound Shell Nicholas for my 16th birthday. <laughs> 16, I remember you at oh, 16. That's when your mum had the shop on K Road. Mm -hmm. Is and that it, when I first met you, eh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because you guys have known each other for 20 oh, probably odd years. Almost, probably 30, 30 years. years. We go back that long. I used to pop into Holy the shop shit. on K Road. And because we were mm. we were sisters, sisters and sisters from yeah. similar cultural backgrounds, similar languages. Yeah. So my sister's yeah, South Sally, African. Yeah. And she's you're, you're born in Cape Town. Yeah. So yeah. Dutch Afrikaans. Yeah. Oh. And I used to pop in, I used to walk past the um, shop in K Road, mm. it was a braiding shop. And I, I know the braiding shop. It was yeah, where the rock that shop was, her was. That whole block oh. was ours. Yeah, because oh, I did my hairdressing training up on K Road as well. Back in the 90s. And do you know what's funny? <laughs> we would get cast for ads together, her and her sister, me and my sisters, and we'd be like, you know, extras in the back, and the producers yeah. would be like, you guys, <laughs> come <laughs> on. One of the ones we did was the Helen Steins commercial. Do you remember that? Oh, my God. No, I don't remember that oh one. Oh, my gosh. I remember it so clearly because they literally were I like. I must be getting old. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you, yeah. Helen Steins. Mm. And they had oh a lady God. by the name of Helen Stein. That was like the. Is that, is that where it came from? Oh, no, no they, they were just doing that a play on a, things, and, yeah. and at the time it was these celebrities were coming to shop at Hallenstein's, oh, 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 so they had like a, the a Danny DeVito looking guy and a, yeah. you know, like oh. impersonators. Yeah. Mm. Oh God, it's I love it. It's coming back to me now. Mm. It was in some Shh. big warehouse, oh, anyway, I remember it. No, well, you've done a lot. Fun stuff together, mm. Yeah, you've, you've done yeah. a lot. And, you're and the Peter Andre days were fun, did you tell you? <gasps> oh, I want to hear this. Oh, I, 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 mean, I, 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 I mentioned Peter Andre, but I want you to tell Yeah, me. yeah, because I said when I to do oh, not actually, tell me, I want, I want you to tell the story okay. about Pe Peter Andre and Peter Andre's brother. Oh, can I just, oh, I'll tell you first, I was living in Newmarket and the lady I was living with had two little boys, a 10 and 11 year old boy, so she asked me to take them to a record store on Queen Street where you could meet and greet. Peter Andre. Oh my God! So this I was in the in '90s or the early yeah. tw 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 early '90s, early '90s. Yes. Oh my God! So when he I was, was like, oh, he was hot. Mysterious girl. Ah! Mm. So we were lining up and we we're getting closer, and I was like, like I didn't really know who Peter Andre was, and I saw him sort of I like know. coming closer. I was like, yeah. Jesus I fucking Christ, he's hot. <laughs> mm. And when we got there, he didn't. <laughs> The the voice. Voice. And he came, came up and he gave me a kiss right there on the half on the lips and half on the cheeks. Oh my God! And I just went. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the boys. Mm. Just sign their <laughs> <laughs> And then I was like, I literally, I swear, I was walking on air. I was like, who the fuck was that? I'm she never washing my mouth like again. Like and porcelain, was, isn't he? Oh, he's, oh, he was, he was, he was yeah. his fucking the fucking Yeah, washed. you know that shirt, how he lifted up the shirt and did that song. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah no, you sure can tell the rest of it. Yeah, come on, go on, go on. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Then we all went to the concert. This. Her and her sister, me and my sisters. <laughs> my sister had gone the night before. A girl had got pulled up on stage and she was stiff and dry as hell. And Monique came home that night where I picked them up and she said, there's another show tomorrow night. <laughs> Logan Campbell Centre, we have to go. <laughs> oh my God. So we bought tickets, we all went and we weaseled our way to the front. Mm. All of us Get pretty much way. front and centre, right? <laughs> yeah. I didn't give a damn about Peter Andre because his brother Michael was the opening DJ act. He was oh, oh my God, and his pants and, 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 and we were like, oh. Oh, anyway, turn so he played. Then Peter gets up and he sings and he does his thing and it's it's wonderful. And then it's that part where somebody has to get pulled up on stage and my sister Monique. Gets pulled up on stage. Oh, you're fucking joking! And you're she fucking doesn't. Joking. She, and she had said, "I'm going to get up on stage." And when the bouncers were looking, she was like, "Yeah, yeah." So she gets Me, up on yeah. stage. Mm. Not stiff at all. He's dancing with her. She's oh dancing my. back, and they're holding. Ah! Yeah. And then at the end, you know, the lights go off, and they go to side of stage. Mm -hmm. Well, he gives her the hotel where he's staying, the phone number, the room number, all of that. Oh. and says, I'm not too sure if I can, but I'm going to try. Can we please meet you guys out? So um. we... <laughs> 
take the whole crew, <laughs> including Michael, out for the entire night to shakers. Yeah. Oh, my God, shakers. 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 Oh, my God, that was my shit. hangout. That was a hangout that back in the day. shakers. Really? I'll stop it. Oh, we're really? stomping ground. We oh, my and, God. And we were all, like, literally, like, this is unreal anyway yeah. we all kept in touch my family went over to the gold coast stayed with his family what what did anything happen no <laughs> <laughs> not with me <sighs> oh mm-hmm. oh someone got a bit of the peter andre and the brother oh all I can say is, lovely guys, respectful, <laughs> beautiful. And fucking super hot. Super hot. <laughs> when we went to the Gold Coast, we met his sister. She oh was incredible. God. She just, like, gravitated to us, towards us. Some of the, you know, half cars, curly hair. And they were on tour for some of that time, but they made sure their cousins and everyone took us out. Oh, my God, that's so awesome. Uh, now, are you in contact with him at all or now and again? Because he's kind of dropped off oh, the scene. Oh, we will now. He does. Um, I actually <laughs> have, have not. When this. I moved to Japan. Let's call Peter Andre. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to somehow actually share this story with him. Eh? Uh, oh, honestly. We'll send yeah. it to him. Yeah, we will. Um, oh, God, God. Because he, he now does um, furniture shows, yes. like um, decorating, yeah. staging, yeah, he was and renovations and stuff. doing all of that. And yeah. what I loved about him, and, and we met, so there was always Michael and Peter, but... Oh my god! I his love manager this. was actually his oldest brother, mm-hmm. who was oh, just always behind the scenes, yeah. just lo- mm. and they just always did things together like that. I love that. Yeah. I'm so cool. cool. We all sort of I'm a bit jealous. Mm, I might add. Connected. That there was even the brother, fantasy. the family thing. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's so much fun. God. Yeah. So y- your your whole family is musical. You all sing. Oh, you hold, hold, hold up, honey. Hold up. Talented, up. musical. Yeah. Just. We Is that how you got into However, we don't all sing because my sister Monique, mm, one time we told <laughs> sorry, Monique. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> but she can dance. Yeah. But I tell you a story. So everyone, you know, of course expects us all to sing. We were doing a show in Wellington and I went to the music sound desk and I was like, Mike, two, two down. <gasps> but when it comes Megan, to the, that's so cool. You. But when it comes to the rap, pull it up. Yeah. She can rap like nobody's ah, business and she can, can dance, dance and we can't. Well, he got the wrong mic, right? So oh. I'm like, <laughs> Meryl's mic's down and Monique's mic's up. <laughs> How did that come out? Really Not fun. good. Uh, we didn't get bookings for a while after that. <laughs> 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 I don't know. But give her a rap. What a man, oh. what a man, what a mighty good man. Oh, yep. She's all about it. Oh, oh, oh no, God. Your, your family is really her. talented, like. You know, oh, even your mum with what she always did and I think how she raised you guys oh, far out, man. I always think back, and my mum is just a legend, so, mm. you know, when you were asking me who's an inspirational person, I can't yeah. look past my mum, you I know. I love that. Yeah. She is half German, half South African, moved to New Zealand with nothing. But her husband at the time, my dad, and us kids, um, and <clears> had <throat> to start from scratch. You know, none of her qualifications were recognised. Yeah, 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 ridiculous. And yeah, literally, here she is with us. We were young. I was How old. Were you? You're I eleven. Was eleven. Yeah. And, so, mm-hmm. and Meryl was two. What year? What, what year? Nineteen eighty-seven. Oh right. That's and I remember so clearly when we first moved. It took us two years to get here because the South African government thought my parents were coming to set up a political party here because they were involved in the ANC back in South Africa. Oh. No, my dad just had a job offer and mm. took it yeah. for two years to get here. And I remember it was such a struggle, like, for months and months and months. We didn't have a car. So my dad would have to bicycle with Meryl on the back to the kindy to drop her off to kindy. And dad and mum would either bike or walk to their jobs. Oh, you know, that was not nice. so long ago. That's in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and sadly, mum and dad, their relationship didn't flourish here because I think culturally it was so different for them that mm. I think dad struggled more than mum did. Mum and not having the support system as well of your family exactly. and friends yeah. from South Africa and that, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, they, they were What here. just fell down my thing? <laughs> Keep them there. Oh, oh my earring. <laughs> yeah, I was like, shit, it's so, please don't have it to bug. <laughs> But, um, yeah, dad, dad struggled and mum thrived. And, you know, he wasn't used to the 
the woman, I guess, being in a, in a better space than he was. Anyway, they separated. Oh. And my mum just worked her butt off and took care of you to kids. give us what she could. So did she start that braiding shop? Or yeah, did she so, do other stuff first? You, you know what? So mum is a teacher by trade. And she has a teaching degree, a counselling degree. She's a linguist. Oh, wow. and, and then she just went, well, it was by default, it was by accident that she started a braiding mm. and business. We had a bit of an identity crisis in New Zealand because people never knew where we were from. Because if ah. you said African or South African, they'd go, you're not black enough. Because oh, the whole perception back yeah. then was the, dark yeah. Africans, yeah. right? Yeah. So for my school ball, I said to mum, please braid my hair. I just want to so can be look. and look yeah. African. People yeah. will probably get the mm. braids. Mm. Mm. And then my friends wanted braids and their friends. And next thing you know... My sister went and got yeah. them done. <laughs> the blonde, <laughs> blonde braids were <laughs> Dutch brave. Yeah. But all of a sudden, yeah. we, were, we had this influx of people coming through and loving that African culture mm -hmm. that mum then had to rent a little space and started a little studio and then that got bigger. So it really was by default. But when my mum and dad separated, mum was just entering that. And I remember clearly for about three weeks, my mum lived in her braiding shop upstairs while she was able to braid and raise enough funds for a rent deposit. Wow. You know, She's and amazing. for a quarter or so. And yeah, I look at that and I'm like, oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, I just can't get over her. And mom, anybody how that didn't have a place <clears throat> or nurturing, um, she was that woman. And oh, a because real she, mummy mum. She is. Everyone's mum. And you would never know when you saw her that she was going through her struggles. Mm -hmm. Major struggles. She was always like, come in. Yeah. And want to come so on. she, when we Cuddles first got here, she taught at what was considered at the time the worst school in New Zealand. It was Clover Park Intermediate School in the heart of Otara, and teachers would just leave every term. Yeah. So when people said to mum, you don't want to work there, like, it's in the hood, <clears> we're <throat> like, have you been to Africa? I bet, yeah, have you been <laughs> to <laughs> Cape Town? And yeah, yeah. And she just loved people and uplifted them and mentored them that mm. to this day, we have gangsters and professors and doctors and everyone come and find that teacher that gave them love, light and hope. And she's still the same to, to this day. That's so amazing. Awesome. What a beautiful, yeah. I want to meet your mum. We need oh to get my your mum. And then she's, <clears throat> and then she's <clears throat> crazy. Like she sent me videos today. She lives in Stillwater in this little village in the bush pretty much. And she's sending us these videos of her dancing going. Is she doing TikTok? Ah, <laughs> she's trying to do TikTok, but it's not even on the TikTok app. <laughs> I love it. Come on, Nana. Here's my fans. I'm just my family. Oh, no, 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 I'll go and teach you. I'll set it up for you. No, I'm like Lion King's tomorrow, <laughs> Mum. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's cool. And she loved you girls, hey? Yeah, like, she There was just always, this natural attraction to Renata and Sally. She was like my Renata second mum. Sally. Mm. We used to hang out all the time. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. really. So after that braiding shop, where did she go to from there? Where did you guys go, go from there? So after the braiding shop, mum, honestly, I think the next role in life that she took very seriously was that of grandparenthood. Oh. So wherever yeah. we were with our children or whoever needed with that her. person to step in, mum was there. Mm. She, yeah. I think she kind of sometimes forced us to have kids so that she had <laughs> a role. That's you why know? you had them when yeah, you were so young. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and, she, and she never made you feel like you were a, a bad parent because even if you did some things that probably was a bit untowards, mm. she'd be there anyway. And, oh, yeah. and she'd yeah. encourage us to go out and live a life because she was there. Oh, how oh. To beautiful. That's so beautiful. That's and you've, you've got three beautiful, be. um, beautiful children. Oh, they're beautiful most they're... of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they're asleep. Hey? You know. yeah. yeah, I know the joke. Oh, you know hey, the joke. Hey, stay the fuck asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking hour. wait up. <laughs> Oh, honestly, God, no, I, I, am, I love my children and I always say to people, Tonika, my oldest daughter, is probably the reason why I've done better in life because I sometimes think about the age and stage that I was in back then. I would have made quite different decisions yeah, yeah. if yeah. I was not a mum. Okay. And when I decided, and I, was, I, I really grappled with a, am I having this baby, am I not? Mm. How old were you when you had your daughter? I was um, 18 when I had her. That's so, That's so young. young. I an 18-year-old now. I'd be like, mm. you know, just a baby. And, and you know, back then I looked like I was 12. Yeah. yeah. 
and probably acted like it too. But I, I remember the day that I decided, okay, we're going to go through with this pregnancy, I literally had a conversation with my unborn child and went, okay, we're going to do this. We are not going to be a statistic. I don't know what this success looks like, but let's go. And at the time, I did not expect Pete, her dad, to stay around. So it was yeah. just an A-B conversation. Wow. And I always say, she is the reason. You'll notice every now and then if I post something about her yeah. or a picture of her and I, I'll do hashtag mm -hmm. the reason yeah. oh, and hashtag mama neck. Toto, which means mother and child. Oh, because I think if it wasn't for her, insane. I could have been crazy. I would have mm. been wild. During the True Bliss days, when we were at the height of fame and fun, mm. I had to be a bit more settled so that I could be back with my daughter. Mm. You can go if I didn't have it, I would have gone off <laughs> the rails. You made that go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Instead, yeah. Erica, Joe, Carly, and Kerry went off the rails, and I was fine. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's because you had a baby. But honestly, true story. And the girls yeah. look at me now, and they're like, oh, "How did you do the show and the yeah. tour and all of that with your child?" And I was like, yeah. "Motivation." Eh? I am grateful mm. for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because it could have yeah. got turned quite pear shaped. Yeah. So Tanika's twenty six <clears> now. Um, wow. Tiara, our next daughter, is 18 and Tanika... Same as Trin, my, my daughter, yeah. Oh, Tanika named her. We went in for a scan and prior to having Tiara, um, I had some complications, had falling pregnant, I had an ectopic pregnancy, my fallopian tube was removed and I was told that I probably wouldn't be able to have babies again. Oh, wow. So then I fall pregnant with Tiara, right? We're going to... And all I want is a boy because if this is my only other chance you of having one a of baby... Age. Yeah. Mm. And we have the scan and they say, oh, well, you know, you're having another girl. I'm like, oh, and Tanika's like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Tanika said, mum, this next girl, she's going to be a little princess. Aww. And when you got married, I, my daughter walked me down the aisle and she had a little oh tiara. And she said, gosh. when I walked down the aisle, I felt like a princess because I wore a tiara. Oh. We're going to call her tiara. And I was like, oh, oh my gosh, I, I could wow. never call a child wow. Tiara. Yeah. Meanwhile, Tanika, every day, hello, Tiara. Oh. I can't wait to meet you, Tiara. Oh. So how could I not, not yeah. name her Tiara? But it suits her. That's so beautiful, yeah. though, because it is a princess. It's a with your awesome, born with a, you know, already and with a wee princess crown. And she is temperamental like a princess, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and then our boy is Trey. Mm -hmm. And Trey means three or third born. Mm -hmm. So... And the reason why they're all T's is in my family, we're all M's. Oh. Yeah. Megan, Monique, oh. Miguel, and Meryl. And so when I had Tonika, <clears throat> my sister Monique then had Keelan with a Q, and she was like, hmm, I'm not keeping up the tradition, sis, it's all up to you. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> so those are my three babies. Oh, I love. Oh, my gosh. Mm. And they look so beautiful, of course. I mean, look at the jeans. You I mean, you and your husband are just freaking hot as. Oh, not, not first thing in the morning, the night after, oh, but wow. you know. <laughs> so with no, True Bliss, Jane. I want to talk about yes. True Bliss. Let's get into True Bliss. How old were you when you started True Bliss? Like I was, 18. I was the oldest oh, in the group. I was um, 22. Oh, 22. I was 22 yeah. when we auditioned for True Bliss. Wow. On pop, was it pop, was the, the first pop stars, yeah, wasn't it? it was the first pop stars. And honestly, oh, I can God, remember, I remember to remember this it. day, we were in the braiding um, shop in Papatoi. And in the newspaper, because, you know, we used to have actual newspaper print, there was an, a little news article that said, do you think you've got what it takes to be a pop star? Auditions at blah, blah, blah oh centres. Wow. My sisters saw the ad and they were like, Megan, yeah. you have to do this. And I was like, no way. I don't have musical experience. I'm not qualified. And they just harped on and harped on. And my sister made me go. And she said, I'm, go I'm going with you to make sure that you do this. So we drove to the town hall, went to the auditions. Everyone was there with Shit. ghetto blasters back in the day, oh music sheets, instruments, and I'm standing there going, I don't even know what song to sing. I don't even know how to read music. Like, oh, oh, what did you wow. sing? I sung the only song that came to mind where I could remember the lyrics. And it was a song that my mum used to sing to us when she was younger. Um, and the version that my mum knew, a new version had been made in our era. So back then, the song that my mum loved was Killing Me Softly. Oh, yeah. oh, Let me hear it. By Roberta Flack. It. Oh, oh, okay. The version I knew yeah. was Killing Me Softly by Lauren Hill. Yeah, yeah. And it goes... Beautiful. Um, 
drumming my pain with his finger, wow. singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly with his song. they wouldn't because here I am kind of a solo young mum at the time and so I was the first girl that they came to my home and they tricked me they said We've, we're down to 10 girls we need to now see you in your home environment we're going to come and interview you oh and your family God. they walked in with camera crew not too dissimilar to this and um, sat me down with my family and they said Megan um we just want to tell you um You've made the band. Oh, oh shit. So they tricked Holy you. Shit. Oh my god. Girl what did friends. you mean? Holy shit. <laughs> your life just that man just changed. Just changed. My family are clapping. My mum's like, oh my god. And like an idiot, like I was at the Oscar Awards, I start crying. I say, I just want to thank my family. <laughs> You did it. Did you <laughs> <laughs> Where's the award? Go on, honestly. Where's the footage of this? Screen the, doc, <laughs> the, the footage is there. Literally, I'm like, oh, we're going to get that. We're so going to find much. that footage. I just want to thank my family for always supporting me. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh literally God, that's how awesome. it went. You're brilliant. See, so, because that was 1999. Totally. Oh my gosh, that's like it seems like oh, forever ago. I know. But you guys only lasted a year together. Only in a the, year. In the, why, why such a short amount of time? Yeah. So you guys were fucking you guys were on I to watched something. you. I remember. Mm. I watched you. Oh, I was like, oh man. Oh, it was God. the first in the world of its kind, right? So yes. Our manager slash producer and a camera director, and so. Jonathan Dowling, oh, the yeah. manager, and Bill Telfer. The two of them actually came up with a concept, in particular Bill. And how it happened was he's a cameraman, his kiddies had a birthday party at their place and he saw the girls dancing and singing with hair brushes. Oh. And he's filming them and, and he went to Jonathan and said, you know how the Spice Girls were formed, but they weren't documented. Why don't we start a show where we girls want to be actresses or pop stars why don't we start a show where we actually call for auditions and film it every single step of the way and so that's how the show was formed we auditioned we made the band none of us knew each other we were literally, you know we know? Were literally oh thrust God. in not knowing who each person was we were revealed individually on the day of the launch wow and um they created this incredible show concept. We filmed the TV series, and the whole idea was after the TV series, or, or during, we're recording music. Mm. Our single went to number one. Our album went to wow. number one. It was double platinum, the wow. highest selling album at the time. Oh my That's God. So amazing. And the Holy TV shit. show was number one, and then we're touring. And wow. the whole idea was okay, now. How it works in television is you now take this show concept and that show and you take it to Australia and England and so forth. What was meant to happen was us as a show was meant to go first and then let Australia copy it from there. Right. We found out halfway through the show that our manager had sold the concept only. Without to Australia without us. Right. Right. Oh, right. Okay. And so, of well, course, sucks. we were furious. We yeah. wanted to record music in Australia. We yeah. wanted to be recognised yeah. over there. Yeah. That was your that, chance. That didn't happen. Mm. We also did not get paid from our sellout tour. What? Not at all. Oh, stop it. Uh, so that was a whole other thing. And then we were going to court to battle ah. our management to say, all of those things are not fair. We've been yeah. pretty much doing the show for free. almost for but, free. Yeah. What the hell? Mm -hmm. And then, unfortunately, one of our band members left us and joined forces with our manager. Oh, oh. may I ask? Um, Carly, oh, Carly left yeah. the band. Oh, and, yeah. and she was an incredible songwriter. She is a fantastic talent. The way it happened, I have my own opinion about yeah. Yeah. that's not the way you do it. Sure. But, hey, unfortunately, um, I don't think he did the best by her either. Yeah. So that's not cool. No. 
But for us as youngsters, we then had to fight this court battle Shit. and try and make our way. And I've got a so baby. So did it cost you to fight for what was right for The yours thing is, in stuff? the end, the reason why we pulled out, it was cost. It was going to cost too much money, yeah. and it took up too much energy. And you know what? At that stage in our lives, we were too naive, too yeah. young, too inexperienced, and in the end, we just gave up. Yeah. Oh Fuck! God. What a shame. shame. We gave you up. know, like, I mean, not and absolutely. We felt like that's we were fighting, shitty. We were fighting the battle on our own. Yeah. We don't have our, the support of our management team yeah. anymore. Mm. Uh, the record company pretty much went. Oh, we don't want to be a part of a court battle. Yeah. The TV production wasn't there, and honestly, it was just too hard basket. So recently, you guys all got back together. Yeah. So how did that happen? Oh yeah. So all of us have it's stayed in the. Oh god, it's been so much fun. Too much fun. And um, all of us stayed in the music or entertainment industry somewhat in a different mm. capacity. Mm. Uh, but for a long time, I was overseas in Japan, mm. and I've, I guess one being the eldest, and also kind of being the person that always pulled us together. Yep. When I was away, um, there was less opportunity for us to to perform together. Yeah. When I came back from Japan, it was one of my missions, let me get those girls, yeah. where, where are they? We love what we do, we love each other. And so um, I was getting ready to do a um, charity gig. Um, I was the ambassador for the Child Cancer Foundation. Oh, yeah. And they were interested in writing a song, and I said, I know some girls. So oh, I got the girls together, yep. we wrote a song, yep. we performed it a few times and then we said, come on, we love this and we're actually pretty good at it. And yes. so that it just catapulted from there. So the whole group got together, including um, Carly, was it? No, Carly yeah. has um, chosen not to be a part of the group for, right. and, and I respect that, I understand. Right. Um, <laughs> she's more of an individual and a solo artist, mm. whereas us girls, we actually love being together as a yeah. band and so... If we ever, if it's kind we, of like the posh spice of the group because yeah. the, the other spice girls are together, but the posh spice is like, no, you I don't know. want to do that anymore. I'm doing do something different, doing different projects. And our thing and, is, you know, yeah. we respect her yeah. and what she does. And hey, yeah. if it's going to happen one day, awesome. But also, in the meantime, um, we've been more of a foursome than we have a fivesome. So yeah. let's just continue with those who would like to be involved. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Okay, you do. <laughs> oh. you, I mean, you all got a really good career out of that one year of being with Troopless. Mm. Like, holy shit, like a 25-year career mm -hmm. doing emceeing. Mm -hmm. um, you, you do a lot of TV work. Yep. You, you're ambassador for charities. You, 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 you're all over. Yeah, yeah. You are. Yeah. And then you've just started your own company. Yeah. AU. Now, what is AU? Oh, I know what it stands for. Tell me. It must be Alatini Unscripted. Oh, <laughs> how did you know you would come into that? Yeah. Yeah. Alatini like, Unscripted sounds good. I like good. that. I like that. <laughs> the one thing I will say is, no matter the negative experience, and by the way, Pop Stars and True Bliss was not all negative. It was no. more positive than negative, yeah. right? And no matter what, we are all so grateful for that experience mm. because we were thrust into the public eye and it gave us a profile. It's the reason why I am here today. It's the reason why all of us can do what we do. Mm. Mm. Um, so absolutely grateful for that experience mm -hmm. and we'll take the learnings from it. Totally. Um, I've been able to um, recently form my own company, mm -hmm. AU, even though I love Alatini Unscripted. <laughs> <laughs> AU and, and Te Reo is O. And yes. O means me, you, I, us. Right. Oh, um, I love it. You have so much thought into everything you do. O... AU on the periodic table is gold. Oh. Girl. And so <laughs> me and my colleagues, we are um, learning, training, and development specialists, and that's what we did in aviation for a while. Um, and some of, uh, a lot of the work that we do is around cultural capability, mm -hmm. diversity yeah. and inclusion. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea around O and gold is that whatever we do or whoever we touch, we're going to do it with a touch of gold. To oh, a gold like that. standard. That's really good. So, that's so what that you know, is. is there a reason why you have set this company up? Have you had struggles oh. that's led you to, you know, wanting to help other people going through the same? Mm. Oh, for sure. Okay. Um, if, if I just go back 18 months, you know, mm -hmm. all of us have been affected by COVID and mm -hmm. lockdown and in particular my industry. I was working for aviation. I was with Air New Zealand yeah. at the time. Yeah. And we did not know as individuals who would keep their jobs and who would not. And how that would be determined was different dependent on what department you were in, what type of contract you had. 
And I felt so terrible for the company because it was beyond their control. Mm. All yeah. of a sudden, international borders are closed. Mm -hmm. Aviation went way, way oh down God, where it was yeah. the highest Nothing. growing industry mm. at the time. Yeah. And we went into lockdown. And at the time, I was um, leading the Māori and Pacific Network for Air New Zealand. So every day wow. I was mentoring and supporting people who were losing their jobs, oh, who had been there shit. 5, 10, 15, 20 years or more, wow. who only knew aviation, meanwhile not knowing if I'd keep my job or not. Mm. Wow. So the stress, the anxiety was crazy. Yeah. And my colleague Gloria actually came to me and she said, Megan, you don't know, I don't know if I'm going to keep my job, but we know we're very good at what we do. Yeah. Why don't we form a company... And we do what we do for other organisations. Oh. Let's do learning, training and development mm -hmm. for other companies with a cultural lens, with a lens wow. of belonging, diversity and inclusion because there is too much of a gap out there yeah. in the market, mm -hmm. especially in corporate New Zealand. Oh, yes. yeah, where yes. you're not included, where the colour of your skin may count against you, where your gender counts yeah. against you, yeah, absolutely. where your sexuality comes into play, um, and it shouldn't. So how <clears throat> is it that we can go in there and not forge um, this for us, yeah. forge it for our children, because yeah, <laughs> corporate New Zealand and, and actually all of New Zealand better be ready for our children because our kids are not going to put up oh, with the nonsense no. that we have. No, oh, they're, God, they're all not waking at all. up hey, and they're all standing up for themselves. Exactly. Yeah. And if there's Very leaders ages, in yeah. these areas... You better jump on board and yep. learn and do and be better mm. or you're going to be left behind. Yes. So let's help New Zealand be prepared for that. And so that's what that's the premise that we come from. I love Beautiful. that. Yeah. And it's very recent that you started this because you've just left yes. in New Zealand. Oh, my gosh. So, very emotional. Oh, my gosh. After a, quite I mean, a long time. I went from a media and entertainment um, industry <clears throat> kind of the most loose industry, right, <laughs> to coming back to New Zealand from Japan and going, what else in life have I wanted to do? What matters to me? Cultures matter. People matter. I love travel. Yeah. I want to work for Air New Zealand. And Air New Zealand were fantastic when my family and I went through the disaster in Japan where we had the big earthquake and the tsunami. Yes. And Air New Zealand actually gave us carriage back home. Wow. And I remember oh seeing the kōru and going, oh, I'm fucking home. And having yeah. cabin crew oh. treat you with love and respect. Mm. And I remember mm. sitting in that plane going, this is a company I'd want to work for. Yeah. So mm. I went from uh, uh, entertainment, loose, awesome, yeah. fun, all sorts of hours, to aviation, strict, regulated, <laughs> rules, Oh, Rose, I, I remember those. when you actually started doing <clears> it, but I can't believe that's eight years ago. It was eight wow. years ago. Holy and shit. honestly, I had to do head down, bum up. I thought cabin yeah. crew was going to be an easy job. No. Tea, coffee, water, cookie or chips. It wasn't. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the imagine. rules, are, it's, it's about life and death. You're in a tin can at 40,000 feet. Boy, you have to be sky. a doctor, a nurse, a cleaner, a mother, and everything mm. in case something happens up there. Right. But when that doesn't happen, you might as well serve some food in the meantime. Right. People don't realise how much goes into that role. Did you, oh, did you I enjoy it? I literally could think they worse. Loved yeah. it. Mm. I absolutely loved it. And and the people public are hard. But but people are better now. Because back in the day, it was a privilege to be able to travel. And people would get on the plane, they would probably the, they would pack their common sense into their suitcase and now <laughs> yeah, yeah. doesn't happen like that anymore. It's a respectful job. I'm not going to be carrying your bags. I'll make a space for your bag, but mm. you do it and treat me with kindness and respect because if you have a heart attack at 40,000 feet, who's got to look after you? Oh, good point. Oh, shit, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I remember yeah. So you be best so be different. nice to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They used to I was like, oh, really? <laughs> Wait another minute, thanks. So I have a yeah. lot of respect for um, aviation and cabin crew in particular because people used to have a different perspective of what the job is. They and used there's to be so much air more hostessing as well. It was and it's air hostessing. Yeah. It was trolley dollies. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, they yeah. are there to be ready to save your life at yeah. 40,000 feet, yeah, essentially. You kind of forget that one. And you've also got a lot, a lot of that fear. Mm. Yeah, no. I'm a sh I'm a Oh. I'm, a, I'm a terrible flyer. I am terrified. <laughs> you enjoy the red I could imagine. <laughs> <laughs> One tiny little bump. I'm I'm 
a pail. <laughs> I'm like, where's my fucking rescue remedy? <laughs> I'm like, any anything like this. And Monroe, uh, my daughter, we, uh, we, we flew into, it was two years ago. She still gives me shit about it. Oh, God. <laughs> my hometown's in Invercargill, so we're flying, flying oh, back home. Oh, oh, I lived in Invercargill once. I know all I about Invercargill. I know. I, I was in Wyndham. <laughs> Wyndham's cool. No, Wyndham. Oh, Wyndham. Even further out by Gore. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that oh, sounds God. like you've got some stories to tell about. Mm-hmm. Well, Invercargill. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, Invercargill has gotten better. I was there a couple of weeks ago and I was, I was surprised there was traffic. I was like, you guys have traffic and there was traffic jams. I had to wait for five minutes. I was like, really shitty. I'm like, fucking know that. Listen to the jammer. <laughs> oh, totally. I was like, why is there cars in Invercargill, you guys? I was like, go away. Go back to where you're from. You know, I was like annoyed that Auckland are coming out. Oh, gosh, I love it. But the, we, there was really bad storms and we, and we couldn't land because we were landing in Queenstown and we were driving to Invercargill. Mm-hmm. And there was these horrific storms and... Turbulent. Oh God! Yes, I, I'm. I'm crying, and I'm. I'm actually screaming because oh, I'm. She's that one of those. Shit. Yeah, I'm one of those. <laughs> those are, like, oh, just, yeah. have, <laughs> just have a gin, honey. <laughs> my mum. I'm holding my mum's hand. It's blue. My nose is sitting there going, "Wee!" Oh my wee, God! Wee, 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 wee. Someone's vomiting in a bag. I'm like, "Fuck! I'm pale. I'm, like, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out." I'm glad I'm <laughs> I've had I've had passengers like this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and the cabin crew are. Uh, Amazing, but you guys, you had can a I face just, on Can you. I just tell you, don't trust them though, because their face would have yes. been like, and Holy inside shit. we're also going, <laughs> yeah. But, oh, really? but we know look that, at you. But we know that the passengers are looking at us, and we're yeah. like. Yes. Oh, that must Nothing be hard, to see you, honey. Oh, 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 I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be good at that job because everything shows on my face. Oh, honestly, I, if, if, if it's, if it, if we're it's gonna die. Fuck! Like, run, run! No, but what I can say is, if the cabin crew show a hint of oh. panic? anxiety, panic, everybody, you. you uh, Panic then, because <laughs> you know that. Because it's then you know. the aircrafts are designed to go through that. It's all good. We've trained for it. But if you see a panic on their face, sit down, belt up, and start saying your prayers. Yeah, <laughs> oh, but it's like do they though? Now. When people like see that, will they it's sit down and, and be calm, or do they? Panic? I, if you see a cabin crew sitting <coughs> down, you better sit down too. Yeah. Like seriously, and yeah. um, but the. The planes are so magically designed these days that they oh. go through lightning strikes and all Should sorts. I you know, been on a plane for years. Did, what, did you have a really horrific experience at all before? <coughs> like, oh my you know? gosh! I had one oh into no. Queenstown. Oh god, yes. And our pilots have to be specifically trained to fly into Queenstown. It was a small plane, an A320. Oh so god, about a chewing gum plane. 120 passengers, so so to speak. Oh. And I just remember going up and down. We're all sitting down. We're all buckled in. The pilot came out on the PA system so oh, that God. everyone could see him and he said, it's, it's stormy, it's terrible. I want you to know that I'm only going to do this because I've been trained to land. <laughs> I've been trained to land and by the way, yeah. like all of you, I would never put you in danger because yeah. I want to go home to my family too, but it's going to feel really rough. Okay. So we went and we're shaking. Oh, we had a whole group of Indian travellers who were going to Queenstown for a wedding. And they started chanting and praying. Oh, wow. We landed and there were 16 sick bags. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at you it know bags. it's bad oh, when you land and the entire aircraft's like, whoa, yes, hallelujah. So oh, why is it so bad going into Queenstown? Queenstown and Wellington. 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 It's like, Wellington was it's like a wind tunnel with the Alps oh, and the mountains. Yeah. So. We, I mean, because I, I had my eyes closed and Monty was laughing, thinking it was wonderful. I was <laughs> crying and screaming. Kids and ain't. my mum, for me, has to have a really strong face because mm. she knows I'm just a panicker. Mm. And then we c- couldn't land there, so we had to fly into Christchurch. Oh, gosh. And then we're like, oh, thank the fuckers, get me off this fucking plane. I want to feel the ground. <laughs> no, oh, my no, God, thank you get, get me off. Get me off. <laughs> and, um, and mum said, she goes, I'm glad you had your eyes closed. Is because at one point when we were tipping side on, she goes, I saw the tarmac. Oh, and she goes, I'm very glad you had your eyes. Because I was buried oh, into my mum like this. And she goes, I'm glad you were there because I also shat myself. Oh, and I'm my like, gosh. when my mum shits myself, how's yeah, going hello, down? Hello. You know, it's all going down. Do you know who's like you? <laughs> Joe Cotton. Oh. Now imagine oh. when we did the Trueblist tour, most of the time we drove in shuttles, right? Yeah. But a few times we felt a little bit flash. We had these little uh, charter planes. Joe would get so shit-faced 
just so that she could get on the plane and then she'd be that oh, girl like you. Oh, she was too scared. And all of the girls would, bags not, bags not. So I'd end up with her. That's how her and I got, got so close. Because I'm like, I don't know if she's going to vomit because of the turbulence or because she's drunk. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. I'm sure I'm yeah. So she needed to get trashed oh, to get on the plane. Oh, she has a fear of flying like nobody's business. Mm. Yeah. I feel your pain. Mm. And I used to drink as well and just get myself tipsy so I'd... Um, you know that's illegal, eh? Don't please cut this part. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, it's fine. I remember, I remember I was flying to coffee was flying, flying to Melbourne, and I was and I bought a bottle of of of, of tequila or something. Uh, Duty free. Mm-hmm. Did you have uh, it on the plane? I was drinking it. <laughs> I was drinking it there, and then got told off they wouldn't let me through my tequila. I said, "Nah, you're not taking it off, mate." Uh, it was big bell said, "We're not getting on the plane." <laughs> so oh, here I am with my girlfriend Chantal, and I'm like, "Fuck this." Uh, I obviously, didn't drink, obviously didn't drink the whole bottle, but I had a fair decent amount. So I can't even and then we the chucked shot. the bottle in the thing, and that was oh, it. Okay. We're like, happy! Uh, we come on the plane now. I love <laughs> shots, but not tequila, because honey, mm-mm, I had some bad experiences. Really? That's, that's my only one I can do. It's it's you and Meryl. Meryl's the same. Uh-uh. I remember else. one time the girl stitched me up. <laughs> I had, excuse me, I had too many shots. Vomited, not in the toilet, in the basin. No, but I was no, the cat was going. It's, oh, no, it's, it's oh, terrible. You said keep it real, so I will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Next morning, I'm in the hotel, in the breakfast restaurant, and everyone stands up and they give me a standing ovation. Oh my oh, god! What if, and oh I'm my. like, okay, so I did a bit of a bleh in the basin, but I cleaned it, like whatever. <laughs> but and they say, more. Um, <laughs> no. What about those cartwheels you did down the hallway <laughs> in your swing dress? <laughs> Oh, oh were you wearing I do not like VPL. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> also, at the time, Nikki Jenkins was an Olympic gymnast or oh Commonwealth God. gymnast. And oh, I wanted to be her. So I did, I did, the, I did the handstands and I did the scissors and in my little white. Was it Taco <laughs> Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> It was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh children, God. do not watch the show. <laughs> Actually, now oh the truth is coming out. <laughs> it is act- it's one of my most embarrassing moments. And I don't oh, even remember. But you can't remember it. I know. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. You can't remember. Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> I know you just got this oh, vision of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can't stop like, visualising that now. I'm like standing ovation. Oh. Honeys, I got a standing ovation. Oh. It must have been amazing. It must have been a great show. Yeah. Oh. And they all got it for free. Yeah. Hello. Oh, Gosh, I might goodness. send them an invoice tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Oh shit, God, I love oh, you. You're it's, absolutely it's, brilliant. Oh gosh. Oh, it's <gasps> crazy is as crazy does, they say, oh, hey. Oh no. A little bit so, crazy. I love crazy people. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you crazy makes the world go around. Oh, honestly. <laughs> and be on PC and just yeah, do no, it. No, just oh, like, honestly, Keep don't take real. yourself too seriously. Yeah. I'm I used to, and it's like, mm. nah, chill out. You miss out on a lot if you take yourself too yeah, seriously. No. Yeah. 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 I, I take the piss out of myself. I don't oh, care. I laugh at but myself all the time. Oh, same. So no. Often I'm the only one laughing, and I'm like, "That was funny." Come on, y'all. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> laugh at me. Come on, well, you're funny. Laugh. God damn it! You no. can't laugh at yourself. What can you yeah, laugh exactly. at? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Shed enough tears, so let the laugh yeah. to come. Let the laugh to come. Oh God, oh, God, you're God. absolutely you brilliant. You know too much now. Sorry, we are sisters now. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. Well, <laughs> every, every, everybody's gonna know too much. Everybody's gonna be our sister now. And you were know, you, were you've you there? all done silly, hey, naughty actually, things. Who was there that night? <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you the names tomorrow. Let us hey, know. You're probably lucky that there were no video. Did we have camera phones way back then? No, we didn't. We had oh, Alcatel phones you're safe. Back then. You're safe. But do you know what? That same place, that same restaurant, oh my gosh, the most gorgeous barman, we found out later that he got fired because oh. Kerry jumped over the bar Oh, God, and started just you, pouring drinks for all of us for free, and he was too shy and scared to say no. And they fired oh, him. They oh my God! Him. They were starstruck. Oh, True Bliss was in so the I'm not that bad. I didn't get anyone fired. That was Kerry, and she was the other. Ah, Kerry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so and you had a lot of. 
fun no. in, a, in a year that you had then. Oh, Jesus. we had amazing fun. And I think that's why we can do what we do mm. 21 yeah. years later. <sighs> Because it's an experience that only we really know what it was like going yeah. through the battles, the hardships, the having no money and then having these incredible shows and tours mm -hmm. and and then having all of this fun. Um, mm. It really created this sisterhood bond mm. Shit, where yeah. we will be friends for life. Forever. So we'll your be friendship friends for life. was kept over all those years, but you just decided to all It get was. Back to and I think in our yep. adult years now, we appreciate each other so much more. Yeah. I think there was a time where we all kind of lost touch and yeah. we lost Ooh, our well, way. You get on with yeah. your own life and you've got to go and, you know, you, know, and you have your babies mm. and, and or, or, or in Joe's case, you know, she has her cats. But, you know, you, you come <laughs> back and you go, who are the people that are important to me and who are the people that know me inside out, mm. warts and all, and... Erica has a couple of them on her bum. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know Erica too. Erica. <laughs> I'm joking. I we should get you all on though. Like you all should. of you girls on and hear some of the stories. I think oh, would be Oh my gosh. We have to get about what's what I've been like a sleepover cat. Let it out there. Let <clears> it out there. But yeah. I'm, I'm so um, proud of the girls as individuals mm -hmm. and I'm so proud of us as a collective to have been mm -hmm. able to keep that bond forging That's forward. That's a long time. And we, mm. and we still perform together. We've got a gig on Saturday. Oh, where? And, and at the Northern Club. Oh, the Northern Club, yeah. And it's so funny, like, all day, Erica's been texting us. She's making us these head pieces. Oh. And, you know, that's what it is. Mm. And before we were probably more worried about being seen by others. And now yeah. it's just like... We don't care if there's five people yeah. or 500 people. But getting together. It's about getting together and having a <clears throat> good time and, and being there for each other through thick and thin. Yeah, absolutely. Where's the Northern Club? Is that in Silverdale? No. No, no. No, honey. We're in the city this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, you know, if there's, if, there's a, if there's a Northern Club in Silverdale, do invite us. I think it's us. called the Northern Union. <laughs> do you know what I'm really loving? I'm loving that your um, boobies are... Um, oh, I know. Oh, no, it's great. It's oh, great. Oh, oh, this bloody thing keeps pointing... Inwards. Am I going to keep it out? Mm. Okay, good excuse. Good excuse. Good excuse. Good excuse. Good excuse. How long have they been hanging out? Back. A while. Oh, wow. well, I was just admiring the view. I'm Thanks. sure we all Thanks. were. Thanks. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that, honey. Mm -hmm. You know I'm boob obsessed. Especially I these. I mean, look at her. She's, She's got so good boobs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh beautiful. stop it. No, you do. You've got great boobs. Hello. I've seen your top plus. <laughs> 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 oh, I Sarah. love it. <laughs> Don't it. joke. <laughs> I'm not joking. It's for real. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mm. I love you. Oh, my gosh. This is so much fun. I, like, I wish more people had the chance to just sit down, chat with their girlfriends or boyfriends, doesn't matter, and just, you know, um, get to know each other on a real, just on a real level. Yeah. Like, um, really, like, real. Yeah. 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 Well, and that's it, you know. It's, it's uh, I think... I don't know whether it's people are so nervous about how they're going to appear or how they're going to come across or, oh, I shouldn't say that in case I offend somebody, you know, because mm. you can fucking say anything and offend anybody. Let's exactly. be real. Oh, anything. Not yeah. offend somebody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's just like, I think, you know, with, with unscripted, with, uh, you know, and our whole thing, was this is what we wanted. Yeah. We want a total, let's just relax, bunch awesome. of girls, boys, whoever it is, and just chew the fat. I love it. And yeah. get I to know... It. Try and teach everybody out there to do the same. Yeah, yeah. Mm. just do it. Just yeah. get together and, and you can be don't worry yourself. You don't offend anybody. You know, yeah. be yourself. Life is so PC these days, and actually, oh my God. the the people that I probably align myself with more, and the people that I get on with the most are those who just keep it real. If you if you're doing something that I don't like, I'll say it with love. Yeah. Um, but it's just about come on. Everyone is so worried about how does it look out there or how does mm. it sound out there. Mm. Like if your intention and your purpose is in the right place, yeah. and like you said, not everyone's going to be happy. Someone's yeah. going to be offended. If you and yourself know that that is not the intention, then carry on. Yeah. You know? 100%. So. 100%. Now, now you are a mm. bit of a romantic, eh? And you like... Um, Candles and oh my I've got the candles yeah. out. And you like massages? Oh oh give me your hands. Oh oh I forgot the roses. Oh. I forgot the roses. <laughs> I actually went to get you some roses, oh but my. oopsies, you, like you got a food pattern oh instead. Oh. <laughs> like, see, and it, oh gosh, it smells divine. I am a romantic. Yes. I what's know your you idea are. of romance? What, what yeah. for you? What what means romance to you? Because romance oh, can gosh. mean something very different to oh, other people. Don't so go to sleep. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe I'm <laughs> maybe I'm a little bit simple. It's things as simple as yeah. Have the candles burning. Yeah. 
<clears throat> have some good music playing in the background. Make sure the room is nice and warm. Yes. Be as casual and as relaxed as you want. <clears throat> and see to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just it. make it feel <laughs> good, honey. <laughs> and I'll do the same in return, I promise. <laughs> I mean, why do you think I've been married so long? Come on. <laughs> oh, my God, I fucking love you. Do, do, oh. Does that happen with you and your, your husband and your and Oh, you? my you gosh. been married for so long. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I am the romantic. You're the romantic and one? He's not. Is not. Oh, oh, bugger, have you had to teach him, train him? Oh, my gosh. Can you train Surely. someone to be romantic? Yes, or? You, you can. can. But I bet you he's romantic and different. He probably does little things that he thinks is romantic mm -mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> come on Pete. no, Step no. It up. He's, he's he's better <laughs> these days but i just you know um i used to say to pete was really shy and he came from a very um isolated and um, private family where culturally women and men don't even really sit in the same room oh god right and you don't talk about Sex or sexuality or, yeah. um, you know, so a lot of what Pete knows now, he learned through me and my family. Mm. And so it is what you know, it is how you've been raised. My parents were walking half naked in the house half the time. Pete yeah. would be like, oh, my God, I don't know where to look. Yeah. Um, and, and we were so young when we met. Yeah. There probably wasn't even time for him to learn or be groomed in, in that sphere, yeah. whereas I grew up with it, so it was very yeah. normal and natural for me. Oh, I yeah. love that. How did you how did you and Pete meet? Oh my gosh, we were set up on a blind date for a school <gasps> ball. Oh my gosh! That I thought I was cute. going to the ball with his cousin, who was my best mate. The cousin comes to pick me up, and I'm like, why is Peter in the car, David? And David says to me, oh, so sorry I lied to you. I had promised Pete that I'll get him to a ball because he's never been to a school ball because he's always on sporting trips. So I got two people from my school to buy two tickets oh. and you're his date. So that the two of so us cute. had to talk. We had to get along because he and I weren't from that school. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then we had a great time. Nothing really happened because, as I said, he was very shy. I'm the one going... <laughs> <laughs> and Pete's like, yeah. what the fuck is that? It's all over my mouth, woman. <laughs> but you'll love this. So about a week later, um, David <laughs> rings me back in the old phones. Oh. And he goes, hey, mate, did you have a good time at the ball? And I'm like, of course, I had a great time. Do you like Pete? Yeah, he's lovely. Oh, what would you say if he asked you to go around with him? Oh, my around. God. Oh, my oh my God. God. So and I said, oh. I quite like him, so I'd probably say yes. He goes, oh, okay, hang on. Ah! Oh, Hi, my God. It's me, Peter, here. You want to go around? <laughs> oh, my God. And That was how it was done. That's how it should still be. But, girlfriend, you know, I tell happening. you, this is a true story. So nine months we're dating. We're both in fifth or sixth form at the time. We're both dating, and my friends are telling me about all the people they're getting with and this, that, and the other. And I've, I've got, like, a proper boyfriend Oh. And I'm like, they're like having more fun than me. And I've oh, actually got no. the boyfriend. So one day I had to sit Pete down and I was like, do you like actually like me? Because mm -hmm. like, my girlfriends are getting pashed and all sorts. Of <laughs> well, you hadn't <laughs> pashed. You hadn't pashed and, yet. Uh, like, not, not, not like proper. <laughs> and he was so cute. He was like, oh, you know, it's just because, you know, I really love you and I, I want to show you respect. Oh, and then I was like, God. stuff that. Like, can we just get it on already? <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Anyway, that. a year later, we get it on. A year. Hello, hello Tanika. <laughs> a year. <laughs> Straight pretty away. Much, pretty oh much. God. You guys waited that a year so to have cool. sex. At, maybe a little bit more. Fuck, that's mm. awesome. So, so much respect Girl, for that. I was amped. So I was like. Did you do everything else but... No, no, because he was so shy. No, nothing. So you just no, no thought, no, no kissy, kissy, finger here and there. banging, and no, fucking I made sucking, my first nothing. Sucking. You just had it to No, what was that? No, and I <laughs> and, and I was the one kind of going, come on, come, come on. on, holy shit. Usually it's the other way around. But that is such mad respect because you guys fell in love before you 
did anything about this old oh, sex thing controlled your relationship, which is kind of, Honestly. you know, if you go on a date and you don't fuck in the first one or two days, we've had a discussion on this, mm-hmm. um, then you're like, flick next. Because yeah. people don't have the patience because it's there on tap. Honey, I was patient as hmm. Wow. Well, I made my first boyfriend wait for three years. What? What the you? fuck? And he stayed around? <laughs> no. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did you do it? No, I We were together for eight and a half years, yeah. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. See, that's awesome. And yeah. you did other stuff, obviously. Wow. Well, it's her, yeah, obviously. Yeah, of course. What the hell? Look. Like, you know, but you didn't have sex for the first three years. Yeah, so I was 15 when we met. Oh, well, that's fine. That's a bit he young. Waited, yeah. Wow. I didn't want to do anything until I um, was, was sure. Wow. But well, yeah, we did everything else. Oh, so he popped your cherry, Mr. Mm-hmm. Eight and a Half Years. Yep. Mm. Wow. Mm. So, yeah, that doesn't happen these days anymore. It's like no, it's you just look at someone and you <laughs> want to jump them. Yeah, yeah, I know, but there's Time's no respect around it. it. No, That's what I hate there about no this. There's no respect or intimacy around sex anymore. There's such a pressure when you mm. meet somebody um, to do it really quickly thing. and then build the relationship and the friendship, which is so backwards. Yeah. I mean, I love sex. I fucking love sex. So and I love right. that connection. Yeah. I love feeling that. But it's it'd be nice to, you know, have it, build a friendship or yeah. have something else first. It's totally something I talk to my kids about all of them, the girls and the boy, mm. and it's around know yourself, know yeah. what feels right, feels good, and just know that it's so special. And when you have that type of intimacy, you are sharing your soul with someone yeah. else. So mm. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's a good thing. It's a great thing. But just make sure that you're willing to share your soul with that person. Yeah. yeah. And so know true. that... Rightly or wrongly, and we make mistakes, whatever. Yeah. But just know that they will have a piece of you forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's that so energy, good. having someone's energy mm. in you, and, and yeah. like, you yeah. know, make always. sure make yeah. sure they are worthy, honey. Yeah, but yeah. then you know, you you can also have a situation where you can be dating someone for a long time, mm. and mm. then everything's right, and then yeah. you finally do the deed, mm-hmm. and it's not not working. Yeah. Then what? Mm. And my, my thing is, and my You've mum... You've given a couple of goes, surely, before you yeah, fuck into the curve. Yeah, but what if you don't click in that, that department? One thing my mum mm. shared with me, my mum gave me my first ever sex education book when I was 13, 12 or 13. Yep. Yeah. And it was all about know your body, it's okay to feel and touch who mm. you are, and the whole intimacy between male and female, or not mm. male and female, just... a Around between two, people, two that, people. Between two people who love each other. Or, yeah. or, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but oh, my mum, mom, you know, we were talking before about things that make the world go around. My mum was like, oh, my gosh. She has been in certain situations where it was probably not the most conducive to a healthy relationship. Mm. But that compatibility actually kept her, it around for longer yes. than she should have. Her point was... Actually, it's important that that feels and is right. And if it yeah. doesn't, it can make or break a relationship. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. You know, don't live with it forever because it's not right for you. Because when yeah. it's good. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> the tangles, the, the goosebumps, the body quivers. Yes. The fucking, it's in the wank bank and you can wank over it for like a long time afterwards, you know. It's, it's, hey, but I'm not saying that. She's saying that. I'm kind of oh, she's just keeping it real. <laughs> Good. That's, that's her real. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love for me, mental stimulation. Oh, it's huge for me. Big time. And, and it just gets me off yeah. so much. Like if you're just teasing me or something, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, over the phone or what you, whatever it is yeah. and just through the day. And then, and then after the fact, we've done it mm. and just keep going through oh. it and going over it. Such a fucking turn. It just oh. lasts me for a long time. Oh. One of the things my mum shared with me and probably what was part of her relationship breakup, and she would always teach us these lessons as well, and there was a bit of infidelity in my mum's marriage, which was partly the reason why they broke up. And she really she struggled with it because she was like, oh, my gosh, Megan, I would have done anything and everything with your dad you know yeah. that's that's how I wanted to I want you to find the person that you can be as crazy with and be willing yes. to do it be, but just with you two not with yes. every other Tom Dick and Harry yes you know? yes. Yeah, yeah. yes 100% so those yeah. are the messages that she Always shared sure with us that you're enough yeah 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 isn't yeah. that it because yeah. I tell you what I know a lot of people in my life who have been married on relationships where 
in this fucks me off because mm. it's always the girl that's got to be with another girl. Mm. And I'm all about, mm. nah, mate, you want to be with another girl? And then we have to have another man. Mm. Because, and then mm. it, they're like, the fuck table no, turns. Uh, yeah. I have yeah. another man. Yeah. It's like, come oh, on, well, boo-hoo, you miss out. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying I haven't done shit, obviously. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's, it's been some fun. Um, but, you know, I have seen it and witnessed it in relationships where mm-hmm. they're married couple or they've been together for a long time and there's that pressure yep. for the woman to um, have an... Let's bring another woman into the relationship, let's experiment, da-da. And I've had friends come to me going, fuck you, I don't want to. And I'm like, well, fucking yeah, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. But then yeah. he's not going to be with me. He's going to try to do it with someone enough. else. Yeah. You know, and that pressure that women feel... And, you know, sometimes they're like, I don't even want to lick a pussy. I don't even like pussy. And it's like, That's why I said I'd be, I'd be the worst lesbian girl. And I have got lots and lots of lesbian friends. Love my rainbow community too. Yeah. But I was like, mm-hmm. I would be the worst, laziest one. Because I was like, This is a one-sided yeah. affair. But, you know, it's, it's, it's 2021. And I'm sorry, people's times have changed. It's not... You're the male and you're the female, so only I get to have fun. Uh, yeah. uh, it's oh, a bit, and, and I'm not saying it should oh, be the no. other way around. It's it's about it's coming equal. to the table mm. as equals and yep. saying what works for you collectively. Yes. And if one says, actually, that doesn't work for me, then you don't bloody well do it or step outside the door. Exactly. 100%. And people need to speak up more and actually oh, relay that to them as well. Not be scared because time. you're scared to lose that person. And, and my thing is they're not worth hanging on to no. if they don't respect your wishes and desires as Yet. a coupling. Mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. yet they will want, yeah. No, 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 those days them. are long over. Yeah, sex can be quite complicated for a lot of people. I mean, we like to talk about it really raw and as it is. I mean, I love talking about sex. It's like my fav- favourite Let's talk subject. about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Ow! <laughs> you can see we're from the same era, totally. Oh my god, I was just so dreamy. But you know, I'm super comfortable talking about sex. I talk about sex to anybody. I don't care. I'm very open about it. About well, it's natural. It's like breathing. We were put on this earth to reproduce, and you reproduce by doing it. Yeah. Well, and don't well, be so shady about it. Fuck it is what it is. Mm. And everybody's got different preferences. And everybody you can't fucks. Judge and that's okay. Yeah, most people. Yeah, fucks, most people. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> most, not all, but you know what I mean. And some but, of us could do it more than... No. Uh, <laughs> could you do it. Come, <laughs> Peter, <laughs> oh, Peter <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, no, I'm <laughs> No. Maybe just love that. Just a little bit. Yeah. Well, at least <laughs> you're getting know. some. Yeah, true. Sorry, girl. <laughs> Are you not? What's wrong with the people out there? It's I'm dating in I'm 2021 fussy. and it's fucking is it hard? hard. What do you mean is it hard? I mean, look at you. You're beautiful. You're yes, intelligent. Yes. You've got a heart of gold. Mm. Like, I've what got five more do you kids. want? A lot of people are... It's fantastic. You've got five gold nuggets right yeah. there. No, but um, a lot of people... Like, honestly, I'll tell you about one... one oh, yeah, one mm. guy that I um, went on a date with that we got on. It yeah. was fantastic. It was just amazing, but... He messages me and said, oh, I'm sorry, I don't think I can date you. You know, you've got five kids and it's more, um, how, don't, how did he put it? That's way more um, um, responsibility I want to take on. <laughs> no, seriously, like we clicked in every which way, but, but then it was like, you know. Because your said, children are so independent now. And I look after my kids. I'm not you expecting anybody need. else yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's uh. still, but it is. But it's the same, like, you know, like even in different areas, like when I go to look for a house to rent. Mm. you got five kids. Oh, I don't know. See, it's, that, it's that, not that just is dis- that's yes. discrimination in, its, oh, in itself, you, you know. Yeah. So you yeah. always have to struggle that much harder to mm. get to the things that you actually naturally deserve. Like, yeah. that's crap. Mm. Yeah, exactly. But, you yeah, know, that's a story of my life. But, no. Well, he's missing I, I, out, honey, because honestly... Yeah, I've, I've recently that, met somebody nice, but he's not, not here at the moment. So. Where is he? Is he in lockdown? No. <laughs> is he in lockdown? No, when I'm in lockdown, I mean, is he in Melbourne? Is he in no. Sydney? <laughs> is he, he in he's, jail? He's, no, I'm kidding. Travelling. <laughs> yeah, travelling around. Yeah, is travelling he? around. Is he coming back? Oh, so. I hope so. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. I hope so. Are we speaking yeah. in code, ladies? We are. Yeah. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> Come back soon, please. <laughs> 
No, I'm, I'm very picky and I've got to really connect with somebody on a real spiritual level yes. as well. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And, and don't steer and away from else. it. And everything else. Yeah. 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 No, good, for you. Good, yeah. Good, good for you. And I mean, yeah. you've done so amazing on your own as a solo parent, as an independent Thanks. woman. Mm -hmm. um, so it's... I'm sure it'll be lovely to have a companion, but absolutely oh, they'd be yes. the right person. She doesn't person need and be the, one. I don't need one. And it's such a difference one. when you don't need a man or need a woman or, or uh, who, 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 whatever you're mm -hmm. into. It's, it's when you want somebody. Yeah. It's when, when so different from a things. need. Yeah. yeah, you want to share yeah. like walks on the beach or you want to just cuddle up at night mm. when you're in bed by yourself. <laughs> I don't want to cuddle my pillow tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you see the sunset or, yeah. you know, you see watching a funny movie and you want to laugh together and mm. things like that, that's what I kind of long for. Well, that travelling man better sex. hurry up and come back, because seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> I know, I agree. Oh, Megan, I you're it. such a delight. I oh freaking love gosh, you. I've had like... so much fun with you, ladies. Thank you. And can we keep you, please? Yeah, can, keep you. can you keep, keep you? Me? <laughs> Massage your hands. Oh, massage your feet. I love it. I love it. This has been such a treat, and I just love mm. women and people who keep it real and do the things that others may be too afraid to talk about. Mm. And what I think is great about this is that it's a great example for our generation that for ages mm. were told to, you know, keep it down a little bit. Don't, don't be too loud. Don't say too much. And it's also a good example for those to come and to follow. So you guys are doing awesome, oh, and I am so stoked to be a part of it. And uh, next week, you'll see all three of us, because yes, I'm now a... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, 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 we're not. We're not kidding. We're Should we keep up. it? We're going to work on that time. No. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, there's lots more stories, but we'll keep that for another episode. Okay? I think what we should do, I think what we should do, get the four of you girls Oh, that'll on. be fun. Yeah. Let's have like a, like a, like a full-on floor picnic oh. and just like fucking cushions and platters Honestly, and alcohol. Honestly, I know for a just... fact the girls would love that. And oh, obviously I want to see, see Erica. I haven't seen Erica for years oh, as well. Yeah. She's still the same. She's still yeah. as beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's amazing. She? she just gets more beautiful she's over the years. She keeps babies as well. I'm like, how do you keep on popping babies and then you look better? Like, that's not normal. Jealous. She's um she's, she's not still allowed to come. She's still got, <laughs> she, know, she's still got a heart of gold. Jo yep. is still I the most Joe. talented, funniest, intelligent. Because she she downplays her intelligence, man. She is super super clever. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Kerry and Topol, who is just like I don't want to have to dress up to do stuff. So we're like, don't. Oh god, yeah, I can't just wait to meet them. So I would love it if we could have all yes. of the girls on the show. We'll we'll beautiful. have a blast. We'll yeah. have a blast. Oh, and we'll do it. Let's give them some tequila shots and see if they can do some cartwheels, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll try that myself. <laughs> We do gymnastics. We we'll hire out a bloody yoga thing so we can do six weeks and fucking back rolls and all and 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 the flip flip you, you just watch, girl. You watch. Warning. I have warned you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really epic. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank, no, you. thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so for awesome. becoming all unscripted. Renata and I have just so enjoyed you. You're just, oh, you're just fucking real and I love it. And you're fun mm. oh. and you're down to earth and... You know, everything that you do and, you know, best of luck with your new business. I mean, Thank that's amazing. You. And Thank you. Thank you. And hats off to all the stuff that you do for all the charities. And, you know, you're so busy. Uh -oh. So, so busy. And you're doing it. Thank you. Like, for so many good charities. Do you know I what? I, I say to people, that's my drug. Yeah. This, yeah. performing, doing good for others. And um, I get so much out of it too. Yeah. So that's my own little drug. So it's yeah. kind of a little bit fills of a and, it's, and it's you know, unconditional it my, though. It, it fills my cup. Yeah. And it means that all through life, I've got these incredible family members who aren't blood related. I've got these incredible supporters. And it's just a two-way street constantly. So honestly, um, it's, it's give and take. And you have been a part of that journey since forever ago. I know. You are not so long in the journey, but girlfriend, we are going to keep it <laughs> going. Yeah. We are. We so um, are. And honestly, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's been awesome. Thanks, me. Oh, thank fun. you. God, I don't actually want to let her go. I don't know. Um, thank you for joining us on Unscripted. Mwah. Please don't forget to tune in to our YouTube channel. Watch this beautiful babe and watch the rest of our episodes. Love you all. Have a really fantastic night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm, thank See you, ya. guys. Awesome. Bye. <laughs> Bye.